on the darker side of death. Things you love to love, your attachments, desires, directives, petty affairs, inclinations, it's all in the game. This will be the last things that you will hold on to when your mind, emotions and imagery falls apart into the dormant state of the woeful shade. I've encountered many of them. Chinese person who was tortured to death in inhumane labor living on the outskirts of Beijing. A man who loved his wife too much as she betrayed him and in his old age he never forgave. He kept begging her to return in the shadows but all he witnessed is tonic forces mocking his shards of old pain. The victim of the Warsaw Uprising ghetto. The starved girl remembered Tony's soldiers burning down everything to the ground with flamethrowers. Drowned victims near the Baltic Sea, damsels that had been there since the 1920s in their fashionable attire, masquerading their bones and bloated rem remnants of sea-taken flesh. An old lady who loved to cook tried to show me her best dinner, but all I could witness was the rot of crawling tonic worms. A hell whore attached to her last mischievous, immoderate life, unable to find sensual pleasure or orgasm, repeating sexual movements in terrible, desirous torment. They were all frozen in repetition in the world of decay, escalating only backwards into lava states, frozen in memory, standing around candles among the living, in their dwellings, churches, lucky the ones who were laid down to sleep in the cemeteries. The dead are not living. Yet cruelty demands to respect their existence in this state, at least a humane consolation, a compassionate kindness. When things get naughty, you must defend yourself. Throw consecrated iron, cut them, behead those devils, the wrong dead. Fates cast them, characters so fate. But death is a terrible and terrifying king. Even if you understand all the whys and hows, does it change a thing? Understanding the nature of this pollution, you may be harassed by it. The fall air of Thanatos is heavy, morose, brings perdition and pestilence. Some learn to preserve themselves in an almost life in this state. What terrifying fate! As they learn also that with time they are bound to prolong the state of falling into decay, that they willfully prolong their torment. Claiming immortality belonging to gods only, they decided to prolong their life in vampiric death instead of seeking life in life and their spirits posthumously heroized. What is a hero? It is the one who remembers. Memory, recollection, is tied with truth. That is why truth was called aletheia, unforgetfulness. While your bodies live, a celebration of life, affirmation, memento mori. While your bodies fuck, did that want to participate to get a figment of their lost lives. While you smoke your cigarettes, the addicted dead join you for a smoke. Some turn into alcoholics, because the dead, the thirsty ghosts want to them drink themselves to death in repetition, through your bodies. The dead are no better than the living. They know more in an instance, time loosens their grip on them. That's why they make good predictions. They may be helpful. Like a family, or dangerous and malignant, wrathful, avenging. Dead city centers, graveyards of the fallen ones, the underground, the subway, are the natural residual point for the tonic passageways Maybe it's the heaviness of the dense shadow matter that keeps most of them underground, like a shore of fishes swimming helplessly upon a great abyss, cold when the Hades separates them from hot Acheronian Hades. The deeper you go until you hit sticks. The wretched river of tar-like black corpses. How do I know? My dead soul visited all of those places. It went through the testimonial in the Black Tower, like a naked, scared animal chained and confessed until charges were cleared, terrorized. Down there below the awful zones there is Tartarus, and it extends infinitely to the deepest pits of cosmic chaos, of our gargantuan gar forms that sleep, yet are dead, that dream, yet are empty. Violate this with your poor soul, your spirit, enter it with your consciousness, and every darkness will encroach upon you. To enter the city of pyramids, you must be emptied of all light. Places for the dead, the eternal rest are for the dead. When you move an inch of your soul therein, the monstrous jackals and hyenas will be aroused to tear your soul to shreds, as if trespassing holy grounds, built by ancient magicians on different planes just to make their mighty pharaohs rest 
until the end of days until the boat of the millions of millions of years is ready to take them back home memento mori time is running out with each second of your breath affirm it live it beautifully heroically but keep your eyes fixed on the gods put every effort into to make yourself at worst humane at best heroic suffering drags people into hell and hell no the meek and the lepers are not the first so many shades of the homeless i've seen treating public toilets like palaces their stench and pain was the last thing they weren't aware of when they died and the parasites the top classes they live in delusions they are the first given over to the judgment of the dead those whom they destroyed with policies wars wrongdoings and we not the people of power be a person of power only if you can handle all the damage you can do and treat it like a committed sacrifice but this world seems like such a beautiful place to live in it is but so is the decaying decapitated rat brought over by the mouser to the house it hit you straight between the eyes i'm not playing a dante and trepid here but he a psychopomp on duties sometimes this drug on nature turns benevolent after the damage that should make me completely hateful and vile it is the living that make her for living but the dead rule the living as in the dionysian dictum their shadows are strong enough to play with your minds emotions souls it is better not to fall into this favor with death this you may be cursed in life and death inclusive is this world really such a dark place to live in i wanted to show you the bad sides of it the trafficked prostitutes that are traded for organs the cruel serial killers that bind the souls of their victims to their own hells the grown organic puppets that are put on display in filthy rich exclusive don't let them know galleries for their fellow crooks all the bestiality of the world hidden away from your eco chambers and comfort is found when you deal with the dead then they'll tell you of broken hopes the rapes the killings the injustice the unimaginable cruelties they know they know and they are helpless to prevent the bestial animal called man with evil added to evil like a chain of vice psychos tend to like each other cruel dead train their own to join them in their malignant biddings this world is godly once a blind fool in protest cried i shaked my arms and smiled with a curious dissatisfaction in my eyes you'll see one day that it is not the world is as it is there are gods but the swamp of earth is immense the pull of the void the menace of dark ectonic forces and deathly minions the only advice is toughen up don't get insane learn to detach pursue a better path be aware courage and resilience is made from realization that the world may be rotten evil cruel that homo homini lupus est but you do your business anyway when you live in the noir you learn to be a nightmare and it's better to be a nightmare amongst nightmares than their victim and the idiots they'll mock you no such things exist they will make your life a hell although you already have one bear the double burden of this year and that of swine that attempt to ride on your back such are the times fix your mind and spread to a star rather than to the shadows of death i observed my dead and undead friends for long enough to learn their ways in a way that a living man may to a minimal understanding acquire the perspective of death this is a toast to life